Hey, welcome to Cow Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and I've got an absolute belter today from Diodora. It's the Diodora Atomo V7000 II. Welcome to the channel. As with every single shoe review that I complete on the channel, I will be looking into five different categories when I review this pair of sneakers. And then at the end of the video, I will give these Diodora Atomo v 7002s an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going along, please do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device and whilst you're down there. And if you've not done so already, please do take time to subscribe to the channel. So let's kick this review off as we always do by checking out these V7002s on feet. Big thanks to Floriano and Diodora for sending out this pair for review today. Currently available in four different colorways via the Diodora website. This Diodora Atomo V7000 version two has some great colorways. This particular colorway, I really like the hits of like this coffee cream that you get in this incredibly chunky Diodora Anima midsole unit with the hits of the mint green at the top and also with more of that aesthetic running throughout the shoe, especially around the laces and the tongue area. Now there's not too many technical differences between the previous version, just the V7000 and this new V7000 version two. The main differences are looks wise with the livery of the upper so what i'm talking about there is just how it looks and the materials they've used on the upper of the shoe and how they differ from the previous version so on the previous version you had the base mesh that was made up more of a triangular kind of crisscross hash mesh design these have more of a honeycomb beehive effect mesh and that looks really good again i really like how open the mesh is it feels nice and soft to the touch on top of that you've still got the same kind of polyurethane um, synthetic suede material around the toe box that again runs throughout the upper of the sneaker there's more hits of 3m on this one than there was the last one i'm not sure if there was any 3m detailing on the previous version but on this version you get these dots here that are kind of synonymous with the adora shoes just at the front of the toe box and there's more tpu detailing just here on each side of the foot adding some more 3m reflective detailing so when the lights hit hit it it'll just light up a little bit more you've got the diodora branding and tpu in the middle here it's not filled in on this one it's just the outline that you can see there on the previous version it was more of a filled in effect as you move towards the heel of the shoe you've got tpu here instead of the more of this synthetic suede material but you do have a switch up at the rear of the sneaker again you've got the italian flag as these are handmade in treviso in italy and you've got it here with a little bit of a flap on it this here was just kind of a more of a tpu detail than the last one but now you've got more of this kind of polyurethane suede at the back of the shoe as you move towards the inside of the shoe it's pretty much an exact replica of the outside of the sneaker except towards the heel you do get this little version 2 branding there there's some diodora branding at the top of the tongue and this again is one of the bigger changes for the shoe it's the fact that this tongue here on the previous version was rounded off kind of thick mesh and padded mesh that ran all the way from the top to the bottom you still get some of that padded mesh at the bottom of the tongue but as you move towards the top it's the thin polyurethane it's very soft material but it's nowhere near as robust as the last tongue that featured on the previous version and again you get a little made in italy lace tab at the bottom of the shoes as well overall i think they're just a great looking shoe now they are an elite running shoe and they are designed to be an elite runner but i think they cross over brilliantly as a lifestyle sneaker as well because i just think they look so great and you can definitely get away with these as an everyday wear now i want to move on to their comfort while well, i'm going to put this incredibly chunky diodora anima midsole to the test on my back doorstep You can see from the step test that this Diodora Anima midsole unit, this incredibly chunky and has a great stack height or ride height from toe to heel. And it's only got a five mil drop from heel to toe as well. 
creates such an amazing cushion with brilliant responsive bounce back, amazing energy return and really nice give throughout the shoe from toe to heel. It's in all honesty, one of my favorite foams out there on any pair of sneakers at the moment. I just think when you're walking around in these, you get such a great spring in your step. If you're ever feeling down and you want a bit more spring in your step, this is the shoe that's gonna provide that for you. Not only are they gonna be an elite runner because of the energy return that's 30% more than any other foam that they've ever created, but it's gonna offer you that daily return as well. If you're just walking around in these, you're gonna feel that instant comfort and relief. It is it's such a cloud-like feeling when you're walking on these. And when you get to the upper of the sneaker as well, it's incredibly soft inside the shoe. You've got a really nice amount of padding around the heel unit as well. It offers great support. The lace unit really does tighten them really nice and um, secure over the middle of the foot and as you move towards the toe you've got some more padding on the inside as well that just makes it overall one of the most comfortable shoes you could possibly put on your feet and it's right up there in the comfort rankings at number one so far this year for me and probably well it's going to take a lot for it to be knocked off that spot this year so comfort wise they're just incredible fit wise these do come up a little bit short for me. Now I've got perfect length UK size 10 feet and slightly wider than average feet. The toe box is a little bit crammed lengthwise, so I would probably suggest going half a size up if you wanted a little bit more room in there, but I appreciate people want quite a tight fit when they've got a pair of runners because they don't want a lot of foot movement. But if you do want a slightly looser fit, I definitely advise going half a size up. Now I wanna move on to their weight where I wanna pop them on the scales. Tipping the scales at 297 grams, I consider any sneaker below the 350 gram mark to be a lightweight shoe, but coming in at under 300 grams is an incredibly lightweight pair of sneakers. On the flip side, anything above 400 is definitely a heavyweight sneaker, but these coming in at 297 per shoe, it does come in a few grams lighter than the previous version. That's possibly because of the use of materials on the upper that's changed definitely in the tongue and definitely some of the livery and the TPU swap for this kind of synthetic polyurethane material may have helped with that weight loss, but overall just an incredibly weighted shoe. I mean, the previous version was just over 300 grams. So again, really well weighted, but overall I just can't, can't say anything bad about them weight wise really, because if you're gonna wear these out and about all day long, they're not gonna weigh you down in the slightest. Now I wanna move on to breathability, where I wanna pump this honeycomb mesh full of smoke, see how breathable it is. This honeycomb mesh offers great breathability for these Diodora Atomo V7000 version 2s. They offer amazing breathability in the toe box area, especially and towards the middle of the foot. As the video went on, you can see the smoke started to escape from that area, especially as well. It does taper off towards the rear where you've got more support and padding, but overall, this honeycomb mesh with how open and well perforated it is, it's just gonna offer you insane breathability throughout the year. And especially as we're coming up to the summer months in the UK, they're gonna offer really nice breathability then when the weather does start to get a little bit hotter. Now moving on to their price. Now these will set you back in the UK, 100 190 pounds. Now a lot of people are gonna gawp at that price because it's definitely at the top end that I would ever wanna pay for a pair of sneakers. But when you take into account, <laughs> They're probably one of the most pair, one of the most comfortable pairs of sneakers that I've ever put on my feet. The fact that they're incredibly lightweight and I think that they work incredibly well as a transitional shoe from a runner to a lifestyle sneaker with the looks that it's got. I think 190 pounds and it's a very fair price. And don't forget, these are handmade in Italy. They, they are produced and made and designed and tested 100% in-house by Diodora. Nothing is created by a third party and added onto the shoe. So when you put all that into, Take all of that into account, then 190 pounds is a pretty fair price, but definitely, like I've said, towards the top end that I'd ever want to spend. And that's going to bring me on to my overall score for these, and I'm going to give them, obviously, a massive five stars. I can't really find much fault for this shoe at all. Possibly the price is a little bit high, and looks-wise, I do think I lean a little bit towards the previous version more than I do to this one, but I just think they've got so much going on for them. I think that five star rating is probably one of the easiest I'm going to give this year and it's definitely going to go straight to the top of the charts and possibly could be the shoe of the year already but I don't want to say that too far because it was the shoe of the, 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 the year last year the previous version but it's going to be hard to beat now if you've liked what you've seen today please do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up right before you leave you can also follow me on Instagram drop any comments below and hopefully I'll see you again soon bye